Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we are looking at another gun case today. We've got in front of us the Inception Designs Universal Gun Case with the high density foam today. So this is the same gun case as we saw with the egg crate foam inside of it. Uh, so the outsides are going to be the same. It's got some nice rigidity to it, the carbon fiber outside, double handle, which can be combined into one and then zippered all the way around. Great for throwing it in your bag because it will protect your gear, but not for sitting on because it is not that strong. So great for protection. It is not a seat. Let's open it up. So inside this one, we're going to see the same amount of straps that we saw before. So it has three straps here and then two straps long. Now these particular ones, I'm looking to see if they are like the other ones. They are. So the straps are stitched into the sides. They do not wrap all the way around the bottom, uh, which I like because the ones that wrapped around always moved and they always kind of got wonky on you. Now as far as what can fit in this one, uh, this side is pre-cut in the shape of a gun and this side is pre-cut in the shape of barrels so you might find that your your product whatever you're trying to put in there fits perfectly and without any issues but you also might find that you need to modify it slightly to fit certain body styles now this one is based off their inception gun so it'll fit that one and it'll fit some cocker style bodies but those are so different uh, from one body to the next that they really can't design it to fit everything They've made it modular, so you can remove certain parts and sections without removing others. So let's see if you can see this on here. So right here, you can see the cutout. This is the cutout for the gun, and I'm going to try to pop this out. I haven't pulled this one out of here yet, but we're going to take it. Right, so you can see that that came out of here. And this is roughly the shape of a gun body. Then you've also got this back block section right here, which is, again, the shape of the back block section. You've got multiple sections on the front here, depending on if you have a pump setup, a pneumatic setup. Maybe you only need to take out, you know, that much to fit it in there, and your pneumatic set could fit in there. Or maybe you need that one too, because you're three ways down below. You got your regulator down here. Maybe you don't have a reg on it. Maybe it's like a phantom style. Who knows what it is? So all of these pieces are cut laser cut beforehand so that you could fit most things in there. And I'm going to say most because I'm going to show you two examples that don't fit and what you would need to do to kind of make them fit. Back in there. I'm going to leave this one out and this one out because we are definitely going to need those to be out of the, the box or the case. Now on this side, open this one up. Little silica pack there. You have, so there's two long slots up at the top here. These would be for barrel tips right here, one and two. There's another one right next to it right here, right there. And then you've got five slots for barrel backs. So one, two, three, four, five. And again, these are pre-cut for the Stella barrel backs. But you could fit really anything you want inside there. It doesn't need to be that. As long as it fits in that slot, it's going to work. Over here, we have an open spot where we could fit a barrel sleeve or maybe a small tool kit. If I can get it out of there. Like that. Or Allen keys or some grease or I don't know, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, and then this one is open over here. So if you needed to, you could cut this out into a shape that you were looking for uh, to make it, uh, you know, maybe you want to stick something special in there. I could even go down that road. All right, now for guns. So I have this one, which we saw earlier. So the barrel, no problem. The barrel is going to fit over on this side easily. There's plenty of space for that barrel tip to fit there if we needed to, and that barrel back to fit right there. And they would drop in, no problem. The gun, on the other hand. So this body style, if we line up the beaver tail on the back side right here, where the feed neck is, which would go up through here, where that's set up, 
makes the body sit too far back because this body is obviously a different size than their inception body setups. Um, so it's just not quite going to fit right inside of there. If I pull the bolt out and then I pull the beaver tail off, I could probably get this to set in there. And I might not, well, here's another issue. The regulator, which we need to sit right here. Let me move this out of here. If I line up the feed neck, the regulator spot is too far back because theirs is actually, uh, I believe, part of their, um, their front block. So it sits a little bit further forward. But it's not that big a deal. If I put this in here, like this, I took these two out, all I would need to do, I can see that this fits in, this fits in, the pump handle would fit in. All I would need to do is just cut a section about this big, maybe one inch square, right here. Cut that little piece out right there. This piece, the whole gun would just drop right in there and fit nice and perfect inside there. So it's not that it doesn't fit. It's just that you got to make it fit. Now that's a pump setup right there. Now this one, on the other hand, again, slightly different. Barrels, no problem. I'm not even going to worry about the barrels. But the gun itself, if I set this in here, these guns are older bodies. We talked about uh, this evolution, that GX4 right there. So the feed neck positioning really throws everything back. This sits too far back, this sits too far back. If I wanted to fit this one in here, I would have to do a pretty decent amount of modification right there. To get this to fit in, I would have to cut a little bit down here. This will still fit in the front. The feed neck, I would definitely have to notch this out right here. Um, this is a taller feed neck for what's used today, so I'd have to cut it all the way through to the top right there, or find a different feed neck. Uh, but other than that, I would be okay. I would be able to snug this down in there, maybe need to trim a little bit off the backside there, but it is possible. Uh, when dealing with older guns and fitting them into gun boxes like this, don't expect it to fit. You, I would expect to do some sort of modification to it. Now, current guns, or if you're buying an Inception gun, it drops right in. You don't have to worry about it. But um, for something like this, or you're going, if you're looking for protection for a retro gun or an older gun, you're definitely going to need to modify it a little bit. But the foam is so heavy and dense that it's easy to do. You just cut it right out. Get a nice sharp X-Acto knife or razor, cut it right out, and then you've got a gun case that is custom fit to whatever you're trying to do. Uh, so Inception Designs gun case, universal gun case, because you can make it fit really everything, with the high-density foam, it's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.